डॉक्टर नॉर्मल डिलीवरी इज वेरी पेनफुल आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू हैव अ नॉर्मल डिलीवरी हाई फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर टीना सी बनीहट्टी कंसल्टेंट ऑब्सटेशन एंड गायनिकोलॉजिस्ट एट डॉक्टर टीना वात्सल्य क्लिनिक वाइट फील्ड बैंगलोर टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्पीक अबाउट पेनडस नॉर्मल डिलीवरी द प्रोसेस ऑफ नॉर्मल डिलीवरी इज कॉल्ड एज लेबर एंड द पेन्स विच वुमेन एक्सपीरियंसिस ड्यूरिंग दिस नॉर्मल डिलीवरी आर कॉल्ड एज लेबर पेन्स they are one of the um, severe pains it is said that when a lady is getting the normal delivery pains that is equivalent to breaking 12 bones together in the body but they are also called as pain with a pleasure as your bundle of joy is arriving into this world but a pregnant lady would have heard lot of things from her relatives and friends regarding the severity of the pains and all and they often say that doctor i don't want to have a normal delivery because they are very severe and i have also encountered situations during my practice that a husband starts crying looking at uh, his wife having pains and that becomes an indication for the cesarean section and many a times my patient will say doctor it's my body who are you to take the decision please cut please do the cesarean section there are so many such scenarios but now the times have changed with the advent of the modern medicines and the new techniques in the anesthesia we do have the painless normal delivery by using epidural analgesia and now it's only the pleasure without any pain now let us see what is epidural analgesia to understand this let me tell you the differences between anesthesia and analgesia when a lady is given anesthesia she won't be able to feel any touch pressure and also pain and she won't be able to walk around and we do our surgeries under anesthesia coming to the analgesia when a lady is given analgesia she'll be able to feel the touch the pressure she'll be able to walk around only the pain factor has been taken out so when you are administered analgesia during the delivery you will be able to feel the touch you will be able to enjoy the delivery process you will be a part and parcel of delivery but only thing pain factor will be taken out so uh, you will be enjoying the process of normal delivery now let us see who can administer the epidural analgesia and to whom and when they will give the epidural analgesia and how it can be given let us see who will administer the epidural analgesia many a times a lady who is delivering will think that her delivery doctor is going to give her epidural analgesia no it's not the case anesthesia doctor gives you the epidural analgesia all the hospitals where the deliveries happen will have anesthesia facility as well hence if you opt for the epidural analgesia you can receive the epidural analgesia now coming to the second question that is who all can opt for epidural analgesia all the delivering ladies who wants painless normal delivery can opt for epidural analgesia only there are few exceptions like if a lady is on blood thinning agents like warfarin or if she is having low platelet counts which hinders with the coagulation mechanisms or if a lady has undergone any surgeries related to the spinal cord or any neurological problems but incidence of all these conditions is very less less than 5% so 95% of the ladies who want to have painless normal delivery can opt for epidural analgesia now coming to the next question like when it will be administered so the epidural analgesia will be given in the active labor it's not that 100% your delivery is going to be painless so i say my patients that you are the judge 
once a lady starts experiencing the normal delivery pains there is a tolerance level so they can inform our delivery team at any time that yes doctor this pain is no no longer tolerable for me i want epidural and at the same time the cervix what is cervix the lower part of the uterus we call it as a cervix the cervix should start opening that's what we call it as a established labor when a lady is getting proper true labor pains that is the apt time to give the epidural analgesia and coming to the next part that how the epidural analgesia will be given so you in the sitting position or in the sleeping position anesthesia doctor will just clean your back and they'll put a small needle in your lower back and they will enter one space called as epidural space it is one of the space covering your spinal cord and through that small needle very thin plastic tube we call that as a catheter epidural catheter will be passed and through the plastic tube local anesthesia uh, drugs will be given to numb your pain this is how the epidural analgesia is given now if you have a question that what if it won't act on me so epidural analgesia gives the pain relief to the highest extent very rarely it may act partially and you may not be uh, getting the complete pain relief if you inform our team of doctors we can increase the dose of the local anesthetic in the epidural catheter or we can give you extra other medicines to give the proper pain relief so it is under our control because the epidural catheter is there suppose if we want a lady to appreciate the pains at the time of second stage of delivery what is that the stage in which a lady will be pushing the baby out we can in fact switch off the epidural so that you can cooperate well for the delivery so coming to the other associated questions like will it affect my baby no epidural is very safe so we will be monitoring your baby's heartbeat throughout the process of delivery not only for the lady who receives epidural otherwise also we will be monitoring in case of any problem immediate cesarean may be indicated and coming to the next question by taking epidural analgesia or the painless delivery will it increase the chances of my cesarean rates no there are huge number of studies which are conducted on this topic like 100 ladies in whom epidural analgesia was given and 100 ladies in whom no analgesia was given they both had the same chances of having cesarean section so in fact if you happen to have a cesarean section same epidural analgesia can be converted as epidural anesthesia coming to the next question will it cause back pain in my future no epidural analgesia will not lead to any back pain usually during the pregnancy and post delivery back pains are very common may be related to the postural changes you will be feeding your baby leading on to the calcium deficiency and due to the feeding wrong feeding postures can be the reasons for back pain but per se epidural analgesia will not cause the back pain i hope i have discussed everything associated with the painless normal delivery using epidural analgesia if you have any other questions or doubts regarding the painless normal delivery you can let me know in the comment section thank you thank you for watching